Good morning. Good morning. Oh my goodness. Look at that face. Good morning from me, officially. Layla, she's dark, so it's hard to see her on the dark floors. It is Friday, happy Friday. So I don't have anything planned today other than I do have a package coming in from Walmart. I ended up ordering that stuff from the dermatologist from Walmart. I talked about it in my last video. So when it comes in, I'll unpackage it, unbox it, and show you what's in it just in case anybody out there has similar skin to me. Maybe those items could help you as well. Also, our frog log came in. So many of y'all recommended the frog log because typically in these videos, which I've already done it this morning, I'll go out to the pool and save frogs, the ones that are still alive. So I wanted something that could help them and then a bunch of people recommended the frog log. So it came in yesterday. Here we go. This is what it looks like. So it floats in the water and they can hop up on this little thingy. And then this part, we need to put some sand or gravel in it and it sits on the side of the pool. So it just gives them something to hop on and then they can hop on this. There's some plastic in here to make it a little bit harder so that they can hop on that. So all I need to do is find some gravel or something to put in this little blue part at the top. The one that we got is called the Frog Log, Critter Saving Escape Ramp. Brian got it on Amazon and I think it was $10, $12 super easy to set up. So once we find something, man, thank you. Once we find something to put in that blue part, then I'll stick it outside and show y'all. Right now I'm gonna drink my coffee, my coffee. Um, I already have laundry in. You might be able to hear it going. And I'm gonna work on the computer a little bit. The vlog for last week goes live today. So I'm gonna make that go live. Oh, I ordered uh, swimsuits from Ashley Stewart. So many people have recommended Ashley Stewart and I haven't ordered anything from there, but I saw they had swimsuits on sale. So my order shipped. So the next swimsuit Saturday you see, which will be like a day or two after this video goes live, will be Ashley Stewart and I'm excited. I also have some swimsuits in my Eloquy cart, but they sell out so fast there that they have a couple of them that I wanna try that are sold out right now. So I'm trying to hold out for those. What are you doing up here? You're not supposed to be up here. What did you get into? What did you get into? You're so pretty though. Look at that face. Time for Walmart. It came really fast. It's not even 10 a.m. So I ordered the different gel, the 0.1%. That is the specific thing that the dermatologist wrote on the paper. I have some uneven Maybe that's not the word, maybe unevenness to my skin. Yeah, we're gonna go with that word. And she said that this could help to kind of smooth everything out because I don't have breakouts, knock on wood, for the most part, but it's just a little bit of texture on my skin. So she said this could really help. She did say, because I do have such dry skin that I need to just use this maybe two, three nights tops. And if I notice that it's drying my skin out, then scale back and don't use it as often. So we're gonna try that. And then the other thing that I ordered, they put it in a bag, which is really nice. The CeraVe Hydrating Facial Cleanser, normal to dry skin. I wanted the hydrating one because I do have dry skin. So we're gonna go with this. And I know she said two, because right now I use the Neutrogena Makeup Remover Wipes, which she said are full of alcohol and not really that great for your skin. But she did say that this could get your makeup off too. So we're gonna try this as a makeup remover. I'm more so happy about this because I don't know if you can tell in this light, just a little bit of texture, but nothing like crazy. And the redness, there's nothing we can do about the redness, which bothers me more than like the little, like unevenness and stuff, but you know what? It is what it is. So that's my mini Walmart haul. 
I think this was $10.98 and I think this one was $10.98. Yeah, it was like $21, $23 before uh, shipping and I think I had to pay five bucks for shipping. So there you go. Good morning, happy Saturday. So I am going through and just responding to comments on my vlog. YouTube does this really great thing where if you click comments here, it's all in one spot for all videos. So I don't have to go into each video. But what I wanna show you that's funny is like every time I read a comment and someone mentions something, I'll open it in another tab so that when I'm done here, I remember to look. Hey y'all, this doormat, um, I'm probably gonna buy that. Mod cloth, I wanna look at their stuff. Pinterest, someone just told me to look up the curly girl method for hair, so I'm going to look that up. Cash is just, look at her. <laughs> Ma'am, what are you doing? I don't know what happened to me last night. I, or yesterday in general, I didn't vlog anymore. Brian got off at probably 5.30 and we grilled hamburgers and hot dogs. It was beautiful outside. We watched TV. We just had like a great night and not once did I think to vlog it. So sorry. I also didn't try the skincare yet. So I'm waiting. The first time I try it, I will bring you along with me. I did order an It Cosmetics Confidence in a Cream Moisturizer. My friend Jessica was telling me about it. So um, when, we, when that comes in, we'll try that as well. But this morning, I was looking up different gel before and afters. And I'll be honest, I'm a little bit nervous to use it. Everyone I've talked to says that... It gets worse before it gets better, and that it was really harsh on their skin. I don't have acne, but I guess my dermatologist, because I mentioned some of the texture on my face, and that was her um, recommendation to use. So I bought it. We know that. But honestly, I don't know if I'm going to use it. Here's what my skin looks like. You know what I mean? Like, I'm really nervous because I don't wanna mess myself up. So help me out. Someone comment and help me out. If you have skin like mine that's super sensitive, I rarely get breakouts. It's just a little bit of texture. Then let me know because I'm very nervous about it. Um, So I started rewatching True Blood. It's just something that can play in the background while I work. Also, I've been sitting here on the couch working um because usually y'all know i sit at the dining room table we have the island goes over longer than the actual standing island and we have a stool there um but my back's been hurting because i guess i sit there and find myself hunching over so now i'm sitting on the couch which is more comfortable but also mentally i feel like lazier because i've been sitting on the couch all day even though i'm working um so anyway, that's all I have to say this morning. Happy Saturday. Oh, my new video went live. Esprilla Plus Swimsuit Saturday. They have such cute stuff. Y'all know I love them. I've done several videos with Esprilla Plus, but this go round, they're doing a giveaway. So be sure, I'll link that video down below. They're giving away this super cute lemon swim dress. So if you're interested, check out that video. So now I'm just going to finish responding to these comments and... What are you doing? And that's it. I don't have any plans today. It's a gross day. I was going to wake up and swim, but it's pretty nasty outside. So we're not going to do that. So happy Saturday. Oh, and thank you all for loving the vlogs. That's what everyone's saying. Like, love the vlogs. Keep vlogging. Missed it last week. Um, like this one from Melissa. Hey, Taryn. Yes, please continue vlogging. I love your pool. Very nice. Good video. Oh, and a bunch of people are saying they love um, the Elta MD as well so and honestly y'all are the sweetest i have the the best the best subscribers and it's, i feel weird calling y'all subscribers because i genuinely feel like we're friends i recognize usernames and people that comment and people that like pictures and all that sort of thing on instagram youtube facebook i recognize y'all's names and i i don't know i feel weird weird calling y'all subscribers i honestly feel like we're friends and we're in the car my Ulta order is ready for curbside pickup. Our Ulta, or mine here anyways, is not open yet, but they do have curbside, so you can order. If they have it in store, you can come by and pick it up. So I ordered, like I mentioned, that Confidence in a Cream. It was $17 for the travel size, but if it works, then I'm happy. 
I think the full size one was 49 or they have the travel size 17. A middle one was 49 and then I didn't even look at the most expensive one because I didn't even want to see what it was. put my hair up it's hot outside my car says 86 at 10 30 in the morning so I just called and she said that the store is actually open if I wanted to come in and shop and I was like no ma'am I most certainly do not Hi, how are you today? good thank you so much for bringing it out You're welcome. you have a great day you too bye-bye I have a few minutes it's only 10 35 before I need to meet them for lunch so it is it's the it cosmetics superhero Elastic Stretch Volumizing Mascara. I'm excited to try this. Let me know if you've tried it. I have long lashes, but a little bit more volume couldn't hurt. You know what I'm saying? All right, so we have that. And then we also have the It Cosmetics Confidence in a Cream for All Skin Types. Transforming Moisturizing Super Cream. Okay. Use upward sweeping motions, apply to face, neck, decollete, and anywhere your skin needs moisture and rejuvenation. $17, folks. But like I said, if it works, oh my gosh. <laughs> Why is it so tiny? Saturday night. So Brian and I just got home from dinner. We had Mexican food. Oh, that's cash. Um, okay. So what I want to do is do the cleanser and I want to use the it cosmetics confidence in a cream. Like I talked about this morning, I'm going to hold off on the different gel just because I'm not so sure. So we're going to hold off on this because honestly, I want to wait and see what y'all say in the comment section before I start using it. Okay. Another thing the dermatologist and I talked about is how harsh these makeup remover wipes are. So I guess we're going to attempt. Does this remove your makeup too? I think I may need to get something else to wipe the makeup off. So for tonight, we are going to use a makeup remover wipe. I know I shouldn't, but I don't have anything else. So let me know too in the comment section if I can use this or if it does a good job removing makeup or if I need to get something else. I typically use this. I've been using this for quite a while and I do really like it. Also, it's huge. <laughs> so it comes with a lot. You're gonna get a lot for your money. But I really do wanna try this one. I think I'm supposed to av avoid the eye area. Apply it to face, neck, yeah. Okay, this tiny little expensive thingy. Oh, it smells good. Okay, there we go. It's on. I'll show you what it looks like in the morning. I guess we'll do it in the morning too. Morning and evening. Yep, we'll do it again in the morning. I will cleanse with this. We'll do the same routine. And then let me know, like I said, about the different gel because I'm kind of waiting to hear from y'all. Good morning, happy Monday. Cash, I have cash in the back seat if she'll come. Um, she has a spa day today. So we're where we take her as long as I drop her off before 9 a.m. on the day of the appointment or the day that we schedule for her to come in, then she gets her nails trimmed or buffed and trimmed. Yeah, so they're not sharp. And then she gets a bath. She doesn't get a haircut. Um, so today is her day. We take her once a month and she doesn't, she's not so sure about it getting in the car and like, hmm, where are we going? But once we get there and like pull up, then she's really excited. Hey, there she is. Hi, 
Boo boo. Um, so a couple things. First thing, Tropical Storm Cristobal. I think it was still a tropical storm. We slept through it. It hit more Louisiana, not so much Alabama where we are, but we were in the line of storms. So we had um, pretty nasty thunderstorms yesterday and really bad winds. I did post some stuff on my Instagram stories. Hey. Hello. Go potty. Yeah. Let's go potty. <laughs> they always tell you to come to the fire hydrant first to go to the bathroom. Come on. Okay, we came to Target now because our anniversary is on Thursday. And so I'll show you what I got Brian later, but I need to get a bag for it. But first I just got distracted at this stuff. Like I said, I need to find something to remove makeup that doesn't have alcohol in it. I wonder if these are alcohol free. The CeraVe waterproof mascara let's see so they're not but it does say national eczema association but they do have alcohol in them so i guess we'll put them back all right here we go it is a small box so i don't need anything this is probably too small yeah but probably this size let's see what colors they have Hmm. Oh, this one's kind of nice. The gray. I do like that. This one's pretty too with a little bit more gold on it. And then they also have this. Oops. Which could be... Oh, I kind of like that one. I think I'm going to get this too. The Lion Game by Ruth Ware. I read this one the woman in cabin 10 by her and really really liked it and this is one of the reese witherspoon book club picks so i think i'm gonna get this okay now i don't know because this one sounds pretty good too <laughs> i don't think i've ever read anything from katherine steadman but this is also a book club pick by reese witherspoon something in the water or the lying game i might get them both Okay, I have to do this quick because Brian's not too far out. I don't I don't really know where he is. So we know I got this. How fun with this. I love like buying gifts and putting them together and stuff. So we have that. Our third anniversary is our leather anniversary. So I got him this cute card from Etsy. Happy third anniversary, the leather year. It's blank on the inside. So I'll write something. I'll link the Etsy sellers below where I got this stuff. Then we have this. I don't want to open it because look how cute it is packaged, but it's a custom box. You can see his initials BW and it is a, oh, I thought I heard him. <laughs> it's um, a tan leather, authentic leather belt with his initials just like this on near where the belt buckle is. I'll link, like I said, the Etsy seller down below and you'll be able to kind of get an idea. But after he opens it, then I'll get him to show you. So I'm very excited. So he actually made reservations at a restaurant downtown called Noja. Someone on my Facebook page, like one of my friends, last week or the week before posted a list of black owned restaurants like locally owned restaurants in mobile and noja is on the list so slowly or quickly we will get to all of these restaurants just to support it just depends on brian's work schedule and how late he works certain days and stuff but we've talked about that we will get through every single restaurant on the list because i think it's nice to support like i've mentioned so tonight we're going to make fried pork chops i do have rice the water boiling right there as well. We don't have any brown gravy, so I'm just gonna make it from scratch. But for the pork chops, I like the bone-in pork chops. I have flour here with just some salt and pepper. Eggs, we'll dip it twice in each. Then we're gonna throw it in a skillet. Happy Tuesday. 
It's still gross outside today. It's been raining on and off. It's just gross. Look, she goes straight to where that dang bullfrog was. That thing was huge. But I've already been up for a long time working on the computer. I'm having a coffee. I just ordered some swimsuits for not this weekend's video, but the next video. Um, and that's it. I'm just watching TV. I got sucked into Beauty and the Beast, the TV show, not the movie. I don't know the actors' names that are in it, but it's really good on Netflix. So I've been watching that. Brian does go into work a little bit later today, so he's still sleeping. Um, what do I have planned today? I'm working a lot. <laughs> um, and then I have a meeting to go to this afternoon, so I'll go to that. I have a shoot, a photo shoot tomorrow, which is exciting. And then it's our anniversary. So I don't really know what I'm going to get up to today that's interesting for y'all. I'm just watching to make sure she doesn't get anything. Um, but when I do something fun... I'll take you with me. And just like that, we are done with the creative meeting. It is about three o'clock. It was just a meeting ahead of tomorrow's photo shoot and then to talk about um, a video coming up just to go through some items and stuff like that. So it's raining, it's gross outside. I'm headed home. I don't have anything else to do today. There's nothing else that I absolutely need to do. <laughs> Um, this was it. So I'm going to go home, finish editing this video that you're watching now. And I didn't lay anything out for dinner tonight. We have leftovers. Um, we made chicken Alfredo the other night. So we have that leftover. And then the night after that, we made, what was it? Homemade fajitas. So we have that leftover. So we need to eat the leftovers. So that's what we're going to do for dinner tonight. Proceed to the highlighted route and then the route guidance will start. Good morning, officially with me talking. So I am headed out to the photo shoot today. We are doing it at a different location. This is the second time that I've worked with this boutique. It's Cotton Bay, by the way, if I didn't say that. Um, but we're doing it at a house. Is that one piece of straight hair? Nope, okay. <laughs> we're doing it at a house versus the, the studio where we did it last time. Also, I'm looking and Brian rolled out our garbage can today. And the garbage doesn't pick up on Wednesdays. It's Tuesday and Friday. So, I mean, he had good inten intentions. A for effort, right? So where I'm going looks like it's about 20 minutes from my house. I have to be there at nine. It is about 8.40. 
so we're good. We're good on time. I in one quarter mile, turn left. <laughs> I do have my bag in the back. I always pack a little bit of makeup just to touch up in case I get sweaty. I have hairspray. Turn left onto Dawes Road. I have um, a couple pair of shoes just in case I need them. I have a bottled water. I'm trying to think. I have my notebook just in case we discuss other things so that I can write everything down. Also, I didn't realize that you could see my bra right there. Just disregard that that was happening. Let's just let's pretend that wasn't happening. Um, so yeah, I guess we'll wrap it up here. Hopefully y'all have enjoyed the vlog so far. I don't know how long it is, but I know last week's vlog was almost 40 minutes and y'all really liked it. That's it. Hopefully you liked it. If you did, if I haven't said it already, please give it a thumbs up. Be sure to hit the subscribe button and I will see y'all in my next video. Bye.